to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you how to install Qt so first go to Google and search Qt created download and we'll be downloading the open source version now you can also download the community version but it's, it's a paid platform right so go to this download page and click on download open source and scroll down to the bottom now click on download Qt online installer now choose your platform for me it's windows and click on this button it will download the installer for you now I have already downloaded it so I'll open it now for using Qt you need to create an account so if you don't have one just click on sign up here and you can create an account right I already have made one so it's a very easy process you can like just create an account with your email and password now click on next and you will be not seeing the screen instead you will be seeing some different screen like uh, I think wait a minute yeah I think you will be seeing this screen like uh, they will ask some questions like do you want to allow like anonymous sending of report or not or anonymous data or not so just don't like for privacy purpose like don't send your data right so click on no there here you click on custom installation like we don't need to download each and everything in Qt otherwise this will take a lot of time right so click on custom inst installation in this page and then you will reach here and if you don't reach here like you will reach in this page right so anyway you will come here here expand this Qt option and expand this developer design tools right here you need a few things you need Qt 6.5.3 right there might be newer versions but this is a long term support like this is LTS version right it will be supported till 2026 so it will be supported for a long time this is stable so go with Qt 6.5.3 the other ones which are like latest like more like newer versions they are also fine right but yeah this this also works right like nothing major happens in these two so I think a few bug fixes and improvements are are only occurring here right so you can choose anyone you like now in developer tools you need Qt creator now what is this this is the IDE this is where we'll code right we'll write our code we'll like run the application so this is the IDE and this is debugger now what is debugger like when you like when you want to see what went wrong with your code right when some error happened you can either use console logs or you can use this debugger uh, to like directly access the part where the error occurred right so you need debugger and you need Qt Creator. You need these three things. Now, I downloaded both of these, but you need only one. You need one MinJW compiler. Now, what is MinJW compiler? Like when you write a code in C++, right? Uh, you have to compile it, right? For example, let's say I write a code. Like I write int main, and here I print something, right? Now, just with this code, like this is a C++ file. Let's say hello dot cpp. Now, just by this code, we won't be getting any output, right? So, to get the output, you need to compile it. You need to compile it to some machine code, right? And then that machine code can be executed with dot slash something like a dot out or any output name like this exe compiled output. So, to compile this, we use MinGW. Now, this is a pretty standard compiler. Choose anyone. I'll choose the modern 13 version, right? And then you need CMake and Ninja. What are these? These are build tools. Now, what are build tools? For example, you use a third party library, like let's say Crow, which is used for HTTP server, like it's for creating web servers, right? Or you use NLOM and JSON. And this is obviously for JSON purpose, right? So if you want to work with JSON, you can use this one. There is also Boost, right? Like, or any, any third party library which you want, you can you can like include that in your project using just the header file, like hash include uh, crow.cpp and how will this link it in the runtime that linking happens uh, with the help of uh, this this one cmake and ninja so these are build tools so in the end what do you need you need Qt 6.5.3 for all the Qt libraries you need Qt creator the IDE these two debugging options a compiler choose any MinJW version you like right I'll choose the latest one and you need cmake and ninja these are the build tools now after selecting this you will click on next and I think it will take a bit of time also some of the downloads might break so just ignore them right uh, sometimes you will get a warning like this download has uh, paused or this download is not working like the server is not responding so just ignore them most of the time it's happening with visual C like really distributable like 
this one msbc this this is the most problematic among all this like this will break so just ignore them and i think you'll be good to go after that just uh, go to your search bar and type cute creator and you will see the id which we'll be using from now on right uh, give it some time to load okay it's taking a lot of time yeah my pc is a bit slow but yeah after you like click on that the id should open yeah it opened now i need only one instance yeah so this is our id and you can just click a new project like i'll show you all of this in the next like video so yeah uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video